Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with some Pokemon TCG Live, the online version of the Pokemon trading card game, which is made by the Pokemon Company. This is a new version of it, because um, the old one was like 10 years old, so they said it's time for an update of some kind, and I did not play enough of the old one to know the differences. It sounds like there was a lot of things that are... It's been a wonky transition, but as someone who very, very, played very little of the old one and going into here, it's actually been kind of nice to kind of jump in and see kind of what Pokemon's up, been up to. Um, it's got a lot of, ni lot of ni nice, neat features, and I've been playing a decent amount, so I figured, hey, might as well make a video. I do play it basically every single day. Um, I don't think I'll be making very many videos, but since I've been playing a lot of Pokemon and I kind of need to have another video out, I figured why not make a video on this? So yeah, that's going to be today's video. Let's go right into it. So if you don't know, if you just want to kind of quick glance at the looking around at what this game does. This game, as far as I can tell, is 100% free to play. Um, what does that mean? In the essence that you can't really buy coins, you can't really buy these gems, and you can't really buy these. These are three different currencies. This gold currency is used to buy cosmetics for like your deck. The purple one is what you use for packs and stuff like you can see here, um, or battle pass related things. Uh, oh, let me change this quest please uh, oh, fuck, that makes it even harder actually no it's fine I'll, I'll run a very specific deck um where was i going and this last one which is used to actually craft stuff and none of these things can be bought some of these currencies are easier to get than others for example this purple one can only really be gotten through this specific daily quest and on the battle pass, um, you can also buy the battle pass here. It's pretty easy when you start off. I think I only had to wait like three days to actually be able to get it. Um, it wasn't too tough. And yeah, and then they give you a bunch of decks to start off with. And from what I can tell, all of them are pretty good. This is the current deck that I've been running, which is a version of the Blissey V. Uh, for example, this might be a good, because I can show you, I think, the original Blissey deck if I did not erase it. I totally erased it. Uh, but I got basically a lot of these components from the deck. Like, for example, I got the four Blisseys from it. Uh, the, what's the main, and the Dunsparces. The main difference is that that deck only had Blissey and Dunsparce and then a whole bunch of healing items and said, good luck to you. See, that's the difference, is that they will... But the important thing is that you have the bones of it, which is the Blissey and stuff, and then you can start looking into getting some of these guys. And the crafting thing wasn't too bad when I actually crafted them. Like, when you start off, you have a lot more than I have here. And I've been kind of just building up, waiting for other decks. Like, for example, I kind of want to mess around with this uh, Drago deck. Drake, Drago? No, I called it Drago. It's called, um... <laughs> Reggie Drago V Star, and you can see here like these are the cards I'm looking for: Flygon, uh, Gudra, Reggie Drago, because I don't have enough of this one. I need four, and this is the deck that you actually get. And you can see here it actually gives you two Reggie Dragos and two Reggie Drago V Stars, which is important. And then if you actually look at the Battle Pass itself, the Battle Pass also gives you stuff specifically that the deck needs. So they just basically, like, this entire deck that is, I'll say right now, is pretty damn good. They just give you it. Oh, I had Lugia sleeves? I had no idea I had fucking Lugia sleeves. Let me look at these. So yeah, let me edit the deck. And then click on here. Yeah, you can see a whole bunch of stuff that you got here. And then because this is related to the Pokemon Company, you can just buy trainer card stuff. And then you just kind of have access to it, which is kind of cool. Um, for example, if you bought this giant Chonkachu one, you would get a code card in here to get it, and then that, the same kind of goes with packs. Um, I think it ends up being pretty good, actually, because if you're someone who actually is interested in the cards, you get to keep the cards, and then you can just play online and then just keep it. It's, like, the best form of microtransactions in some ways like for example so because i play a lot of master duel i would love it if i bought a bunch of fucking Yu-Gi-Oh packs and then those Yu-Gi-Oh packs i got a code to say like here you go you get a pack in here but that's not really the way master duel functions but for Boca, the pokemon company makes enough money where they're just like yeah sure we'll fucking do it this way yeah go it sounds great there's the Yu-Gi-Oh pack sleeves there you go put that there you can see here i have a bunch of bunch of other stuff for the most part, I like using the Halloween one. Oh, I have a... Because I actually bought this recently. It should be in here somewhere. Yeah! I got Huayan, Zoyark, Silver Metal. So anyway, that's enough explaining and stuff. I will now go in. And because these, da these dailies are also extremely easy to do. 
Like, I can do this in one battle, because Pokemon, you draw a lot, but you still have a lot of <laughs> things that you can do. So let me make this my active deck. But yeah, there's a lot of things on the outskirts. It's still in beta, so it's not finished yet. Hopefully they can iron out a lot of the stuff that is a little bit weird that a lot of people have had complaints with. But hey, we'll see. That guy had 330. I'm about to fucking lose. His name was Kolol. Well, even if I do lose, it's fine. Because all I really care about is uh, completing my dailies. And here I have my multiple emotions. I also say this design of the character is not good. It's... If you thought, um, sure. If you thought that, uh, <laughs> the new Pokemon games had a rough characters, they cut, like, customizations options, this one has worse customization op options. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, can I do anything here? That was my question. Uh, I'm gonna put, okay, I'm gonna put this here put this here and then I'm gonna wish for the best I am going first so my turn I'll use level ball and this is the deck that they just give you so I know for a fact I'm going to lose this one but it's fine uh, let me see which one of these would I want uh See, I have Flapple Man, so I feel like I should stay in the Flapple line. And there we go. Uh, I just realized I don't really have... Okay. Oh, I know. I can, I can use Quick Ball. I can get rid of one of these energies. Uh, can put in Boy Richard Drago. And then I can play my Richard Drago. And then I can give him one fire, because I think that's all he really needs. And then I can use Training Court. And then I can use this ability here, and I can get back one of them. Perfect. Everything works out. I should just use Level Ball again, but I'll save it for now. End my turn. There's not really anything I need right now. Unfortunately, my Bidoof here is not in a good spot. If I can evolve him, that'd be great. But uh, it's not looking too good right now. Like I said, this guy has played significantly more than me. I also like this right here, they actually show you the time. This is something I wish that um, Master Duel did. I really wish I saw how much timer they had left for their turn. Uh, it's also crazy how much in Pokemon it's like, you both have 30 minutes, good luck. I hope you guys win. But also, if you take too long with your turn, they'll kind of move you up. And if you do too much inactive, then they'll just kick you out, which is good. Oh my god. Uh, let me guess, is this the guy that just, when you play this Pokemon from your hand, reveal your banish and turn your research your deck for a supporter card? Okay. Look up the top six cards in attack, dash and I'm basic energies and shuffle the deck. Okay. Mm. But yeah, a lot of this game is centered around drawing, and the fact that I did not draw any of my tra uh, drawer supporter cards means I'm going I'm going to have a very bad time. Which is why the structure decks are good in the sense that if you're fighting other people with the structure decks, it gives you what you need, but you should really look into actually editing it yourself and adding cards in it. I didn't do that because, yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, I didn't see the reason for it. And I'm gonna lose because of it. So this guy's gonna look at the top six, and then he's just gonna slowly build up on me. He knows that I can't really do anything. Jesus, he set all those energies on him. All right, my turn. Hey, football. Uh hmm. Because Bidoof needing two is also not really great for me at the moment. Uh, let me see. What is... Uh, actually, that would be extremely useful right now. Because uh, he has a lot of dudes with abilities, actually. Uh, I'm going to go here. It doesn't look like- I can't remember how much Bidoof's evolution has, so... I might just be out of luck SOL on this one. Uh, I kinda wanna continue. I'm just gonna give another one to Richard Drago and hope to god that I draw what I need. But it seems very likely that I've lost this one pretty badly. Oh man. Man. 
Yeah, yeah. The power of drawing. Hopefully this guy shows you how, like, this is actually, what his deck is actually doing is how you're supposed to be kind of playing this game. Which is a shame that it doesn't also look like there's a lot of filtering here, because he had, like, 560 and I got, like, 160. <laughs> Don't know why they matched us up against each other, but, uh, there you go. For anyone who's out there saying, like, yo, this should be more, yeah, he's, he, he's realizing that the game is over. And he's going to put in his dudes and start just winning. Uh, you may move any amount of energy from one of your Pokemon's to it. For each energy attached to this Pokemon, so that deals 40, 80, 120, that's enough to completely kill me. Yeah, not looking good for me right now. Oh, this would be very good to be drawing cards here, but I need him to actually kill Bidoof. Mm, he's gonna be doing something. He's got it. Dun, 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 dun. It is weird coming from this game, from mostly playing Yu-Gi-Oh! That gets widely criticized for, um... Turns ending a turn one. And this game, you definitely have more turns. Ooh. That's good for me. So I'm gonna put this guy on the bench just for funsies. Uh, I'll end the turn for now. I really need him to just kind of kill Badoof. <laughs> and then I can move my guy forward. Fortunately, he's not going to live very long against this guy. He's actually going to die a very horrible death, but hopefully we'll be able to draw more cards that will let us do things before I die a horrible death. Like drawing what this card deck needs, which is the big form of him. But we'll see. For now, though, he continues to set up silently. There's no way you have eight cards in your hand and not a card that can just end this game right now. Okay, he's going to retreat again. Is he just going to go for the Starmie? Ooh, that's really bad. That's really bad. It's a lot of death happening here, but it's happening slowly. Boss's orders. Okay, that's bad. I lose now. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, nah. Nah, nah. Well, it's over now. There's no way for me to come back from this. I should just quit right here. But let me see what I can draw here. Oh, perfect. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get this energy from here. I'm going to attach it here. And then I'm going to do a sick move here called hit the concede button. Because now my daily is complete, I think. Smart players can play a poor hand well. That's not true. Because I could not do that. So yeah, that guy was way higher level than me, and we should never have been matched up against each other. So that's probably a big fault of the game. Let me see. Battle phase. I was never able to use that attack. I'm going to go in again and see if I can have better luck here. And hopefully it's against someone who's not crazy leveled up like insane. I'm going to try one more time. I should also mention, this deck is not the greatest. It... Okay, 110, okay. That's... Well, unfortunately, that means he is lower than me, but he could definitely beat me, so all Because I have him using the disadvantage of using a worse deck, I think. EV2420, I thought he was EV420, but no, he's... Wait, did the Pokemon Company just outright ban the use of 420? Hmm. Something to think about. Sure, I'll go first. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what? I guess I just won that one. I just want to use my move. I just wanted to use my move. I'm going to go in again. I didn't... I just have my one mission. I swear to God that it's actually easy to use your move. It's just that I got completely screwed out in that previous instance. Of using a move with three um, energy or more. 
I had a Pokemon set up, I just couldn't bring it in. Alright, I'm going to choose... Uh, what are we going again? He conceded. Am I crazy? Am I just fighting the same guy? What? What? What the fuck? Yeah, there's a lot of weird issues going on in this game for sure. Basic Pokemon. I think I'll go... Hmm. Actually... Hmm, I think I can actually do... Okay. Okay. No, I'm, go I'm going. I'm done. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, okay. I don't know why it looks so weird there. This guy has rapid strike, though. What? Again? <laughs> Just let me do my move. Uh, th was that a completely different guy? I don't know. I don't- this is not how I want to win. I simply want to use my dragon move. Is that too much to ask? Am I asking too much from the world at large? Fortunately, my good deck only has a move that you can only use once- Okay, Magic the Gathering Dad, 42. He's higher level than me, so maybe he cares a little bit more. All I'm asking is, can I use the single move? I'm just trying to complete this daily. Please. It's cool. You can even win this one. All I care about is doing the move and then I'll dip. Flipping a coin, choosing. Sure! I, I usually use a deck that likes to go second, so it's weird for me to go first still. Yes, we're done here. Uh -oh. Ah, it's a mirror match. Cool. Let's go. Use that here. Let's use Quick Ball. Get rid of this energy. Let's see what we got. We'll see what we're working with at the moment. I'll get you. Uh, go here. Yep, yep, get that back. Then I can just use Celestial Roar and that'll be the end of my turn for now. Is there a re oh, that's right, it's turn one. I can't. I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, yes, I'm done. Go ahead. Again, all I care about is using my move. If I can use my move, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy camper. That would have been bad. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure my trainer card helps him too. Oh, is he actually using a pure Reggie's deck? So you can have Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, Reggie and Reggie Drago in play. You may attach up to three energy from just compile to one of your Pokemon. Crazy! You bastard! <laughs> I get one more card, but I kind of liked my hand. It's alright though. Hmm. Scoop him up, scoop him up. Yeah, he's gonna be able to draw two cards and then I think that's probably it for his turn. Okay. Mm uh, hmm. So I'm gonna use that, use that. Put one Pokemon into my hand, and I think I'll go. Okay, I have to go over him. Uh, go here. Then I'll go here. I think that lets me use his ability. That's correct. He conceded. God damn it! <laughs> Let me use my move! <laughs> Let me use my move! <laughs> I dealt no damage! Fuck you, Magic the Gathering Dad 42. That's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I think this game's cool. <laughs> Bye.